Enrique Iglesias and Anna Kornikova, five signs that twins were on the way. Surprise, Anna Kornikova and Enrique Iglesias are parents, e, news can confirm that the couple welcomed twins over the weekend, a boy and a girl. This couple has been secretive about their relationship since its start 16 years ago, so we knew that their pregnancy wouldn't have been any different, but like most celebrity pregnancies, there were signs that something out of the ordinary was happening even with this under-the-radar couple. According to TMZ, the twins are named Nicholas and Lucy. The former professional tennis player gave birth on Saturday in Miami, welcoming the couple's first children into the world. 1. Out of sight, Enrique and Anna had an advantage over most Hollywood couples with this one. The pair calls Miami Beach home and paparazzi don't frequent the island as much as they do in New York or Los Angeles. The two would usually enjoy boat days and were often photographed as they took a ride on the coast. But as summer of 2017, the boating photos stopped. Needless to say, this couple isn't one to attend events together and 2017 wasn't an exception. Anna stayed away from the lenses and aside from her own Instagram posts, we spotted a photo of her with the owner of Nini and Lolly, a Miami children's store. 2. Baby store sighting. Ironically enough, one of the only photos that we have of Anna, since June, was at a baby store. The store's owner posed with a former tennis star in July. In the caption, they say that Anna was shopping for a friend, which could be true, but yesterday they congratulated the couple and used the hashtag sharp happy customers. HMMM3. Wedding no show, Enrique's younger half sister, Anna Boyer Preisler married on December 7th on the island of Mustique. The private island is only a few hours from Miami, but Enrique and Anna were noticeably not in attendance. The singer's tour was over on November 22nd, and his schedule seemed cleared. So why didn't they attend? Well, now we know why. At the time, several reasons circled around but we knew something else had to be up. Enrique and his sister were very close, and there were no indications of a strain in their relationship. Knowing what we know now, it's evident that Anna couldn't travel and Enrique didn't want to risk missing the birth of their twins. 4. Timing is everything. At first glance, you can notice that there was a huge gap of time from his North American tour to his international tour. Now we know why. In the past, Enrique has expressed wanting to have time for his children. Hopefully the day that I have kids I can lay back a bit and not travel as much and not be touring as constantly. I don't want to be on the road for six or eight months and then come back and not recognize my own child. The star said to access Hollywood in 2014. Maybe it was perfect timing or perfect planning but his tour ended almost a month before they welcomed their twins and the singer won't be back on tour until March which is when he'll kick off the international leg. It won't be too hectic for the new father because he'll only have nine shows from March through June. The singer's last show will be on June 1st in Anna's hometown of Moscow, Russia. 5. Pop photos and videos galore. Anna's feed went from workout videos and note pics to selfies and then completely became workout videos with her back to the camera and photos of their dogs. Not that we're complaining about the adorable pups, but her sudden shift in content had us wondering where she was and we weren't alone. Anna's fans left comments pleading for her return, while some wondered if they had broken up and a few other had a feeling that she might be pregnant. Signs or not. This couple could write a book on how to be a private couple in Hollywood.